Shazam, a DC movie they've been waiting for it. The first trailer, eh, the second was getting better. And one of the major stars, the biggest star of this movie, is one of my favorite actors, Zachary Levi. Is Warner Brothers have a hit here after having a great hit with Aquaman? Or is a great promises and again another flop from DC? This is your reviews, and this is me, Frankie D. I know I'm a Marvel guy. It doesn't matter if it's a DC or Marvel. If it's good, it's good. Your review is coming up. Don't forget to subscribe. Just have. Like I say again, we've been waiting for this movie for a while. And uh, I see the preview two weeks before a release today. I just come from the theater. It's a special fan preview. And... Uh, I had the wish, please, be a good movie. The major star, Zachary Levi, is one of my favorite actors. If you remember a great show on TV called Chuck, I love that show, and he's so funny. If this is the kind of movie that DC tried to make a Deadpool, but a little bit lighter, with more comedy and more family-oriented, because it's PG-13 as a superhero. And we don't have to tell much of the promises of Yassam because you really, really know what it is. Everybody knows on the comics, Yassam has been done movies before, very bad. And again, the first trailer was horrible. I saw, oh Jesus, I don't know about this one. I just don't know. I like the guy, but I don't know. But uh, the second trailer got better. And when I went to see it, it's no commercial, no preview of the movies. You go directly to the movie. I said two hours and 12 minutes, technically two hours and 10 minutes around the credits. And uh, it's the story of the kid, Billy, uh, who uh, got lost when he was a kid. And his mother never claimed it. He lived in from foster family to foster family. And uh, he's a rebel. Nobody liked him, nobody wanted him, and he's always been looking for his mother. They abandoned him or maybe lost him. And uh, he get to, you see all this in the trailers, and because he had a good heart, he get the powers from the wizard, and every time you say your name, the wizard's name, Jassam, you become a superhero, a superpower. They transmit it to him. And uh, this is a combination, and everybody's going to say this, Big, one of my favorite movies of all time, with Tom Hanks, and Superman. It's a mesh together because the kid every time they say Shazam become a superhero and become a big guy, which is Sagan Levi. And uh, his friend, Asher uh, Angel, uh, it's like, you remember in Big, he had a psychic, his best friend, and he, the two of them were just the chemistry together. In this movie, it works the same way. It's just, He's a foster kid, uh, his stepbrother, whatever you want to call it, and uh, the, a big fanatic of superheroes and comics. And uh, it's just the relationship and the mesh together is awesome. Uh, it's just that would have worked so well in the movie, not just when they are kids, but when they are, he's a grown up and the kid. Uh, Dr. Sivana is the bad guy in this movie and uh, playing great for it. And uh, the casting, all the family and all the kids, everything great. I don't want to tell you spoilers because there's a lot of things going on in the movie that remark some of the things I just say and other things on that era and the superheroes and the Z comics. And um, you have to stay to the end of the movie, not just, okay, this is not a Marvel movie. I know we always got two things going on in the end of the movie. And the first part is after the first trailer, which is funny with some cartoons, but then you have one part that's very cool at it on Jassam. And then in the end of all the credits, you have another one. Without telling you, it's a little bit of a spoiler, but without telling you, they're making fun of one of the big characters or movies or whatever, or DC. So it was funny again. This work because Second Liva, in my opinion, Second Liva is work like Ryan Reynolds did in Deadpool, like it, uh, uh, 
the casting of the Guardians of the Galaxy and it's just Star Lord. I just when you have the right guy doing the main guy, that's when it works. And secondly, Levi, even so that most of the people know because TV, he's done a lot of movies, but small parts or no major part, most of it is TV. And especially again, like I say, the TV show Chuck, uh, he just eat the movie. He is insanely good. The movie is funny, it's tender, it has a lot of side story and it, a part of the story of his family, all his part of his life, the foster kids, is is realize that in sometimes family is not what you born with it, but it's really what you make at it, and uh, which is the real life, you know. I tell you, by experience that, and um, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil. Is there going to be a Captain Marvel $1 billion movie? I don't think so. But it's going to be a big hit, in my opinion. This is the movie that gonna, you can see with your family, with your kids. It's a PG-13. And it's going to hit a lot of people. I want to see it again and say, hold on, Frankie. What do you mean with that? It's a go, it's a must go, or don't go. Absolutely, it's a must go, guys. Absolutely, it's a must go. You're gonna enjoy this movie, and I'm probably gonna enjoy it again the second time, and maybe more. And you're gonna see again if you like DC, you're gonna see a lot of things coming up in the movie. But they just the charisma of the two of them, the two kids, and the whole family, and Zachary Levi, who just eat this movie so good, so surprisingly. And DC, for the first time since Aquaman, and to be honest. The last couple of movies been Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and now Jassam. I can't believe I say that. Jassam is a great movie, and it is. So I, I tell you, this is Frankie D, this is your reviews, and it's a must go, guys. You have to go and pay for the ticket. You will be wasting, get your pass or whatever you do, and see it with your family if you want it, because the kids are going to like it too. Um, it's a must go. If you like what I did, Give you a thumbs up. If you don't, tell me why. Give me thumbs down. Until the next time, support your movie theater, support your TV shows, support your video games, and give me a hand. Support me, my face with Yoda. Click it and subscribe. My other reviews and movies and TV shows in this side. And until the next time, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming back if you did. And ciao.